spirit, everyone. Pray in the spirit, everyone. Pray in the spirit. Pray in the spirit. Pray in the spirit. Make sure you are praying. Shalabarandas kadabas kadabaria tabaha. Brandes comberus kadabaloria. Pray in the spirit. Pray in the spirit. Shalabarus kadebesh kadabariyata. Antambo sevis kababrinde besh kadabarande siyata. Karis kadash kadash kaboros sezi seleberukata. Brandosh kadebela Korea. Korea hamalakadia parhaya. Manta paboria pabo shekeberi kata. Prateke se pekete berekete, ske pekete skobos kete berikata. Manto pe shapi kos kepe, ska bata bata la barakos kete beriata. Mante prida ba patondes kete belaria pos. Hallelujah. chapter 5 verse 10 first Peter chapter 5 in verse 10 the Bible says but the God of all grace who hath called us unto his eternal glory in Christ Jesus or by Christ Jesus after that ye have suffered a while make you perfect establish you strengthen you and settle you I I have a burden that I want to share and then we'll pray but my pray for a short time because I have quite a number of things to share. I know it's prayer service, but 
God will grant us grace. Is why I need to start now. Um, but I'll start with this scripture for a reason. Before I resumed back to preaching in August, this was the scripture that I received as I was resuming. And it was a prophecy for us. It's a word for us that we need to lay hold on in this house. The Bible says, But the God of all grace, who hath called us unto his eternal glory by Christ Jesus, after that ye have suffered a while. Now, I can start my teaching from there. Because I've taught before that the Christian experience contains a period of process where God is looking for a good and in as much as we expect to receive from God that's not our emphasis when we come to meet God and there is that period in fact um, I think it was Paul that said it this way that our light afflictions it says that they are bought for a moment but there are light afflictions we can't act like there are no light afflictions. There are. There are periods in believers' life that looks like there is a strain. And trying to make progress might look like it's hard. And the person knows that he's working with God, but it looks like many things are probably not working. In fact, the Old Testament calls it the fullness of affliction. That is an intentional program that God designed. God designed that all things work together for good, both good and bad. All things God works together. But that there is a period of light affliction. But the Bible says it is for a moment. And in fact, it says that it worketh in us a greater um, weight of glory. So the Bible here is saying, after ye have suffered a while. And that's the experience for some of us. Suffered a while. So God is using this scripture to show us what is going to be. It says, after ye have suffered a while, it will make you perfect and I believe that that's what God is doing with us at the moment making you perfect and I like the direction of the prayers that she took because you see all the teachings God is arranging the several aspects of your Christian experience is it there is a kind of spine that you build because of the challenges that you face and I'm going to talk about that too there's a kind of spine that you build that irrespective of your challenges like Job said, though he slay me yet will I serve him. He says, I know my redeemer lives. That, that was the experience of Job. And in the Nigerian church bar, we, because there's a kind of message you preach to people that are suffering. You know, I was telling the people in life school, it's supposed to be a serious message. Why? Uh, for football fans that saw the picture of the contract that they wanted to give Victor Osime. Uh, 151 million naira every day. Now, when you meet that kind of person, what kind of gospel do you preach to that person? Because if, the, if it is based on the prayers that we pray, praying for ordination, praying for... Even our parents prayed for things. We were praying for anointing and ordination to prove. It's still the same thing, just in different forms, Right? But when you meet that kind of person, what kind of spine does he need to have as a believer to thrive? That's a different kind of message that you preach to that person. Are we in church? Now, but the Bible here is saying, so there is a spine that you build because of the sufferings that you are going through, which is for a moment. There is a spine that you build because of where you are going to. So for example, um, Jesus was referencing a statement that Moses said. Right, that man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. And so God was telling the Israelites this thing. These were people that were about to step into plenty. And God was telling them before you enter into before you enter into Canaan, man shall not live by bread alone. Because you see, you can see bread and ignore your Christian experience. In as much as we act like money is we don't really need money is a spirit that can control men. That can turn your mind to run away from God because of the presence of plenty. That's what God was also saying when he said, when you get to that place, do not forget that it is God that giveth thee the power to get wealth. But you see, before we even step into that, there is, I'm saying that there is a training that God is doing in the house. That is building us to make us perfect. 
thoroughly furnished unto all good works. Everything required for your building. God is emphasizing on several areas because of where he's taking us to. He's making us perfect. Dealing with the flesh, making us perfect. Teaching us that we need to make the gospel an evangelical side to your Christian experience because I was not raised in that kind of place. I came from CAC and then from CAC I entered into kingdom messages. And kingdom messages don't really talk to you about getting so saved. We talk more about discipling people. Alright, so making sure that they start to know God and come under the government of the Holy Spirit. That's the emphasis many times. But I had to, God had to take me to branch to learn from some Christocentric people so that you can also have that balance. Not a believer that prays but does not save any souls. No disciple is only interceding every time, but no disciple. No. God is through several trainings because He wants to make us perfect. And I believe was that season where God is making us perfect, emphasizing on things that we will need to change, to grow, to mature in the faith. Like I said during the retreat, I'll keep using that scripture again and again. That you can grow in life and not grow in the faith. You can have more money but not grow in the faith. Idea that if you have the proof of your Christian experience is a wrong idea. You can have things and not grow in the faith. And the emphasis for us as ministers is not really to train you to have things, but our emphasis, first of all, is to ensure that you grow in the faith. You are made perfect. Made perfect in the faith. And God is doing that to us. Every teaching, everything, everything. I would rather that I keep you for 24 hours in church if you will grow in the faith than I keep you for 24 hours in the church if we will be discussing and having meetings, administration. I think we can do that in one... In fact, let me tell you something. This is my belief. I don't know... There are things that are being reconfigured in my mind. I'm getting to believe that if your spiritual life is in check, your life in its totality will start finding order. That's my belief. If you are able to spend time and keep time with God, you won't be late for appointments. If you are trained in faith, it will train you in several aspects of your life. These are my convictions. And so God is building us in the faith, in the faith making us perfect. Now, the next part was the part where God, that, that, that's the part that I heard in my spirit that I believe we need to press to. I said it during the retreats, to establish you to establish you establish you and I believe establish in every ramification of the word establish I believe the word establish in every ramification of the word establish I believe that God wants to establish people establish people in all areas of your life and I've said this before in the last teaching when, when I say there is a prophecy for the house I'm saying there is, is a prophecy for you too remember last week is a prophecy for you too. God wants to establish people. God wants people to be established. And it's why God was saying that make sure that you grow spiritually and I've seen the spiritual momentum and God is saying make sure that you spread. And we thank God for the bit of the rich here and there. But you see, all of that is because there is another prophecy that is coming and it's for a reason. And I, I believe that the financial series is going to train us on that. The spine for the resource that is coming. And we're going to talk about that more during the financial series. But as we're starting today, we're focusing on establish you. Establish you. Now, what does it mean to be established? I, I found a dictionary definition that, that was good. To be established is to have gained recognition. To be established is to have gained recognition, respect, and a strong reputation. Recognition, respect, and a strong reputation in a particular field. Indicating a level of success, stability, and acceptance. To have gained recognition. Respect and strong reputation in a particular field. Indicating a level of success and acceptance now 
because of what God wants to take us into, because of the establishment, I said it during the retreats that when I say establish, I believe it in every ramification of the word. I believe it, I believe it to the extent of an established pastor, an established ministry, an established people, not people that are looking for lodges. I'm talking about people that have enough to say they want to start having their own place. This is the thing that I believe that God wants to take some of us into. But you see, but if that journey is going to be taken, I sat down and I thought about it again, especially with the complaints that I've seen around the body and the choices that I see people make. This is a message that I've preached before. In fact, this year. But you see, when I see the choices that I see people make, sometimes I'm thinking to myself again, it is possible to run your life by a way that is not the way of the Lord. It is possible to receive a word from God and go on a pursuit in a way that God will not validate. And we know that God's power only goes in the direction of his word. Are we there? Yeah. Now, so there are several ways, several ways in this world several ways around the world has been trained by several perspectives perspective life perspectives about success perspectives about lifting everybody thinks they know in this world that we live in we live in a world where everybody talking about everything there is a voice somewhere talking about something whether the person has proofs or not and the truth is that even we that are speaking there is not much proofs is why a man must bend to the ways of God and to the word of the Lord that you go to God's word saying Lord I don't know what to do with my life I don't think I know what I'm doing and the scriptures start to open to a different different from culture different from culture different from what people are saying popular sayings, trending statements. There is a way people live their lives that is not the way of the Lord. I saw there was an experiment that was done by, I think, the FBI. So I think, let me give a possible number because I can't remember the exact number now. Let's say there were about 20 people in a room. 20 people in a room. 19 of them were FBI agents. Only one person was a normal person that was not an FBI agent. And they were all in that room, but the one person did not know that. He thought they were just random people that were in that room. And they put a a shape in front and everyone will walk and go and check what the shape is. And after ch checking the shape, will say what shape you are seeing. And that was a triangle. But everyone was stepping and going to that place. That guy noticed that everybody was going in front and saying it's a square. It's a square. Everybody, 19 of them said it's a square. So when the God's there, he saw a triangle. And he thought to himself, everybody said it's a square. I'm seeing a triangle. But because he didn't want to be the odd one out, the guy too said, ah, okay, it's a square. And he left. It was an experiment that was done by the FBI to know, to see the human behavior that by the law of auto-suggestion, we can push a narrative to you again and again. And you will lie to yourself that this is what you are seeing and that's not what you are saying. Are you here? It, 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 so you, it, it's the law of auto-suggestion. It was designed to ensure that they would, they would now raise influencers. It's a law of mind control. That, it's a similar thing that um, the, um, the guy that was in charge of CNN said when they asked him, he said, it's like you, you reach a lot of young people. He said, we don't reach young people. We control their minds. That something is pushed to you constantly. You watch it in movies. You see it in songs. You see your favorite influencers do the same thing. And somehow you will lie to yourself. That this is what the world looks like. Until you believe it. You won't even know you have believed a lie. And you will constantly live by that lie. Not knowing you have believed something that was programmed in your mind. Painfully, this is the life of many young people. We are pursuing establishment and we are not doing it God's way. Culture has informed us that this is how money works. Culture has informed us that this is how relationships work. Culture has informed us that this is how life works. And you will see a guy saying, this is who I am. This is not you. Somebody programmed you to believe a lie. 
This is the part that pains me the most because I've, I've interacted with, you see, there are just times in my life that God allows me to be burdened. It's one of the things that you do if you will be a minister, God carries you and immerses you in the pain of people. And sometimes you can literally feel it physically. You are crying physically, you don't know why. Not because something is paining you. You are just crying because of the burdens of several people. I've seen people that are living a life that is not what God wants to live. Living a completely different life. They think they are doing themselves. They think they are being themselves. But they are being culture. All kinds of belief systems pass from generation to generation. This is how our family is. And they keep asking, why are we not growing? Why are we not making progress? It looks like regardless of the things that I learned, there is no obvious progress in my life. Culture. Background. This is the kind of person that you marry. You don't marry Igbo people in a Yoruba family. And the person does not know. He just imbibes that idea like that. And continues to live like that. This is what money is used for. You will see people that will go about arguing. I can't give in church. Is a and when and I'm not talking about giving, no. But I'm saying in the midst of all arguments, that person is blowing money on unnecessary things, no investment. And God comes with a different perspective. Emmanuel, this is not how to use money. There is a way you use money that you have peace and rest. There is a way you pursue money in itself that you have peace and rest. God did not design that we run around. The Bible says, except the Lord build a house. The Bible says, the builders build in vain. Somebody indoctrinated church people to think that time in church is a waste of time. The same way Jesus was talking to Martha. Martha, Martha, you are worried and obsessed. You are thinking, admission, after admission, now five dots. After you've realized five dots is not your portion again. You know how your CG looks, CGP looks like. It's not your portion again. Then you now say, at least two, one. You are reducing the standard, but you are still running around. Running around. Whereas there are people that stayed with God. Jesus was staying. The disciples walked, went on walk by boat but when you come out of the presence of God is a different climate that is around you and so you are telling the person spend time with God so that you can know what to do where to go what to say but the person comes with a different perspective I know if I have this result and I know brother A and sister B my first question tonight is what do you know about God and about life. L let me start from there because you see, Ba, it, it, are you, have you gotten to a point where you are convinced? The Bible says, how shall a young man purify his ways? There is a way a young man comes to God knowing that he does not know how to process life except by the help of the Spirit and submits himself to a different mentorship. Are you in class? Submits himself to a different mentorship based on the word of God. I've seen several people see what the word of God say and say, no, this is how I want to do it. This is how I think it should work. And the Bible is saying, no, no, this is not how life works. And we, with our own ideas, we believe that we know what we're doing. We believe we want to get married one day. We believe we want to get established one day. Quick question. What if you marry your wife? Uh, somebody, <laughs> let me say this humorously. Somebody sent a clip to me. It was this um, balloon, this balloon picking thing. I don't know what they call it. And the lady came in and the guy started busting their balloon. Then they asked the lady, do you believe in fasting? The lady, I'm sorry, do you fast? The lady said, I don't believe in fasting. The guy busted and matched the balloon. <laughs> there is no hope in this place. <laughs> it's a red flag. And the lady was saying, sent it to me. I said, eh? Uh -huh. Why would she not believe it? If you said you don't fast, that's the, I would have said why. But you don't even believe. Jesus fasted, you don't believe. And she was saying, don't judge. I'm supposed to preach. I'm preaching. It's a congregation. I'm doing church in my house. I'm supposed to preach. If you don't fast, I would have said why. Maybe there's a condition we'll talk about it. But you don't believe. Now imagine you marry that kind of wife because I don't, I don't judge. I just, I, 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 there's a way people say it this day, self -affirm. I'm open-minded. I'm just an open-minded Christian. Hmm. Now, open-minded Christian gets married, wakes up the next morning, his wife with a, 
with a bad dream in quotes somebody comes to visit you in the dream and tells you sir you married my wife or no it was the man that woke up and somebody came to meet you in the dream and said sir you married my wife now it's in the dream oh. you can stretch and say oh yeah i had a very bad dream it's not a bad your life is about to be wrecked to pieces because you went there with your own way without the backing of the spirit what do you know that can solve that problem now we are pursuing establishments what if one day god says it's time to build your own house now you've got in land and you went to start building then you woke up the next morning to go and check your land and trust God for finances and you saw a card on that place with blood dripping, blood of a goat or something and you saw a card there. If you put one more block, you will die. Responsible Christian, you've been in church for the past five years. You've, you've, been, you've been praying. What do you know? How do you reply that person without, without seeing him? Because the guy has gone with a threat. We want to be established, but we don't know God's ways of establishment. We are still running it by our own paradigm. We don't know the laws of the spirit that guides the rising of believers. I want us to first take, listen, it, we, I need you to think again. What are the laws of the spirit that I know? What do I know about God? Let's not be confused. I'm not training you to be confused. All these prayerful people that don't know the laws that they know in the, that they should have in the spirit. What do I know that can change that situation? Now there is a blood dripping. Is your land, but you can't build. What if you go to work? Apostle Arame would say that he came to work one day and they told him, they mentioned one name. The SMO or something visited the office overnight. Your office. All of you are looking for promotion. Somebody has gone to meet a Baba somewhere. What do you know in the spirit that can give you an advantage? Or are you just praying and fasting without the requisite spiritual information? Knowledge is powerful, but exact truth is important. Exact truth is important. The laws of the spirit, revelation by the word of God. You've seen me do this thing in front of you. It was after prayer service, May prayer, was it May prayer service or so? Last year. Woke up with one pain. Went to meet the doctor. The doctor said, if you use a drug, doctor was telling me that if you use a drug, you will die. That this one is not about drug. Now, what do you do after that? And you have to preach next week. And there are young people trusting in your spiritual intelligence. Listen. It is obvious painfully. Many people read. It's, it's like we're just coming to church. The requisite spiritual information that is needed for the growth of the believer. Many of us don't have it yet. It's why we are not convinced. It's why we are not sure. It's why we are guessing. God wants to give us stability by understanding the laws in the spirit that control several outcomes. God wants to give us stability. Enough of confusion. There is the way of the Lord. There are ways to pursue money. There is hustle. Travel to Lagos. Sleep under a bridge for your first two weeks. Roam around the road and one day your music will blow. That's, that's Sophia. That's somebody's way. There is the one that your parents will give you. Don't worry. I know brother A, sister Badamoshi, they will connect you. And then you, you graduate from school. Sister A is gone. Brother A has troubles in his life. Now you are confused. How do you make progress from here? Listen, God lifts people and there is a way you can come out of the wilderness with certainty. This was what Jesus was telling Peter. He said, Satan, Satan has desire to sift you as wheat. He says, but I have prayed for you that your faith fail not. When you are converted, you will come out with a spiritual intelligence that can strengthen your brethren. This is how it works. And so, God wants to reiterate to us again, the laws in the spirit. The laws in the spirit. I want us to first come to a point where we dissociate ourselves. The Bible says, pulling down strongholds. There are several ideologies that was learned from culture, learned from home, learned from friends, learned from all kinds of places that will not give us rest and peace. It won't. 
I advise young people every time. I told life school students, I said, ministry, if, if you don't find a way to find joy in the spirit in ministry, you'll be depressed. Every day somebody is in trouble. Every day somebody is about to kill themselves. Every you, you can wake up early in the morning to I'm about to kill myself. Every day of your life. But I'm saying that there is a certain... I, I don't think that God left the believer without a way out. I don't think so. I don't think that at the mercy of Tinubu and his economy. I don't think so. I found a way to not believe it. I don't think we are at the mercy of the US and the economy of the world. I don't believe so. Such that God can do something to someone in this place. We can press into a spiritual information that when you find it, you know you have found the truth buy the truth you can hold the truth with conviction nothing can change your mind again i remember somebody that was sending a message and saying I, i'm going through all kinds of trouble if i can find so 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 million or so so, so amount i will find this nah that's not true peace is a revelation it's not it's not based on money the arrival of money or giving money you can find peace even in trouble peace is a revelation is a revelation. Pray in the spirit in one minute. I'll continue teaching. Make sure you are praying. Lord, there is a way. There is a way. There is a way towards life and peace. There is a way towards life and peace. Confusion in our day. It, it, this is not the way that God wants us to live. Certainty. That the God of all grace. The God of all grace. There is a way. Lord, there is a way to show me that will change my life, that will improve the things in my life. That will make it. There is a way in the spirit. There are spiritual laws and truths. We are entering into a, 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 a charade of series that God wants to use to lift us. Is attacking the situations in our lives. But Lord, I want you to open my eyes. This blindness must not continue. Shalabarandes kadebaria to high. Entonde ke paria tahaya. us to settle it in our minds that there is there are several ways but there is the way of the Lord God can open your eye there are several ways in this world I've, I've seen people with several ideologies and several ideas thoughts and beliefs patterns but I choose that the word of God be true and every man be a liar you know there was a time in, in ministry that I was I, I said in last week there was a time in ministry that I was arguing with people about relationships and in the midst of all their story I heard somebody broke up with this person man this is how they are and I come back with the word of God I said this is what the word of God says about this thing somebody says I'm even afraid of love I said the Bible says there is no there is a way if you meet Christ will you be afraid and then they now 
to this young man, the reason why you are not in a relationship is that you are not going out. I've heard, oh, you can't imagine the things I've heard. Though. Somebody went to meet a pastor. Young lady, I'm not dating, I'm growing old. Why is my life like this? After all the complaints, pastor said, it's the way you dress it. There's the way you dress that men will, I say, ha! It, trouble, trouble. Let me say it the way one other pastor said it. Weed, avoid it. Avoid it. Ha! They tell the young man, just walk up to the lady. And in fact, ladies, they, you know these things that they do online. They'll say, what's your red flag in a Christian brother? Christian brothers without confidence. You need to be able to speak. Then the young man builds the confidence, talks to A, talks to B. And after God is lifting you, sisters will sit down in a meeting like this, sipping wine and discussing your matter. Apostle, eh? I remember that he is a man of God. Let me show you the message that he sent to me two years ago embarrass yourself like that because you are following the way on social media and then you open the word of God and the Bible says God the king made a marriage for his son just settle down focus on me and focus on purpose God knows how to make all things good <laughs> Proverbs chapter 16 verse 9 if you can get it in the NIV version Proverbs chapter 16 verse 9. In the NIV version, the Bible says, In their hearts humans plan their course, but the Lord establishes their steps. In their hearts humans plan their course. Humans think, humans strategize, humans plan, but God establishes their steps. It is God. Let me touch on three things. It's, it's the point two that is even my emphasis that I want to talk about and I want us to pray about. Because in all the studies that I have done recently, I've come up with that belief that this is the one key, one factor that is the difference between several people. And we're going to talk about it, but let's start from point one. Number one, walking with God. How does God establish people? What, what are the major keys that, that you hold on to that makes you begin to grow into establishment? Number one, walking with God. Psalms 127 verse 1 is a scripture that we all know. Emmanuel All the world is calling your name. Emmanuel, will you come again? Emmanuel, and the church will see your holy face. Emmanuel, when you come to it. Psalms 127. More love, more power, more of you in my life. More love, more power, more of you in my life. More love. More power, more of you, Jesus, in my life. Oh, say more love, more power, more of you, Jesus. The Bible says, except the Lord build a house. They labor in vain that build it. It says, except the Lord watches over a city. It says, the watchmen waketh but in vain. Verse 2 is a scripture that any young man that wants to grow up should pay attention to. The Bible says, it is vain to rise up early to sit up late to eat the bread of sorrows. It says, for he giveth his beloved sleep. Verse 2 is an important verse that any young man and any young woman used to need to pay attention to. The Bible says it is vain to wake up early in the morning. 
sleep late in the night, burn the midnight candle like we tell people to do. I believe in diligence. If you work hard, you will try to work as hard as I do. You will try. You will fall sick. But you see, Ba, the Bible says it is vain to wake up early in the morning. God is showing you that the race is not to the swift. The battle is not to the strong. There is something called, oh my God, there is something called time and chance in the making of men. You can rise up early. You can be the first to enter into the sector. Still miss out. There is something I found about life that many times is not the most hardworking person. People carrying bricks and somebody sitting down and honestly speaking, sitting down in an office and somebody carrying bricks from morning to night. Who is working harder? Seeing that people run, run with their ideas, do the things they know and they come back saying I'm frustrated. Everything is not working. It looks like the more I try, the more I fail. The Bible says, except the Lord builds. That verse too, keep it all. One day you will tell your young child, as you are going to school, never forget, carry your Bible, wake up and pray in the morning. Because it is possible to go to class, sit down in front, judge, go for night class and still fail. Maybe not in academics, but the results, you will graduate with a first class, you won't know what it is. It is possible to plan, save money to travel. I met someone, the guy had saved money. The guy was, he was having a good job here. Paying him well. Planning to even marry. Good job. He, because he wanted to travel abroad. Like everybody say, Nigeria is not for you. He gave him money. Prepared money. It was time to travel abroad. As he was about to go, he had already left his job. You know, if this was the last thing, visa approved everything. He was about to travel and then the lockdown happened. They shut down everywhere in the country. Nobody can travel. The guy went back to where he was working. They said they've already employed another person. And for months like that, every strategy, because except the Lord builds a house, ran away without God. And he got there and he realized he had to spend the next, he didn't even know when next they were going to lift this lockdown. And I met him a couple of, he had to find one little job somewhere else to do just to survive. And, and I thought about it. I said, this is the problem. This is the issue when you tell young people, stay with God. Walk with God in your experience. At least if it was God that led you, go back and cry. Roll on the ground and say, Father, I went, this is a crossroad. Show me what to do. Let God that sent you, let him carry the shame. Yes, so this is my life. I will not do anything that God has not said I should do. But if I do it and it fails, let me and God cry together. And I know he cannot cry. The all-powerful God that can create a way of escape anytime. Listen, let me tell young people one more time. The reason for the pain, the reason why it looks like many things that you have ignored God, you are trying, but God is not there. Walk with God. Spend time with God. Go to church. Read your Bible. Pray. Don't run away from God's presence thinking that this... Listen, well... You won't... There are things that when people tell me sometimes, I want to cry. I just read people's texts and I feel like crying. I'm thinking, so now, what am I going to do about this situation now? Now it is a man of God. I'm not God. Regardless the anointing that you think I have, I'm not God. But at this point, every... Even we that preach we have many times that we fail but if it is God that sent me I go back to the secret place I lie down there That's, there are times that I pray without praying in tongues this training that they give young people these days to just go car, come 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 That's the, you. The, a day will come you won't have anything to car. you will lie down there and say father I'm here I've lost if you kill me here let it just be the last thing that I do and then something enters your spirit from, you come back with the spirit of faith. You can do all things. One more time. Because of his presence. Yes. Walking with God. Ensure that in your life, regardless of what you do, let God be featured in your experience. Spend time worshipping. It's not a waste of your time. You are training yourself. I've said this several times. If you were the owner of Coca-Cola, or you were the CEO, 
Cristiano Ronaldo that didn't have anything to do with you just saw Coca-Cola bottles and pushed it and your shares went down you saw that deep in few hours just because of one man's influence do you think they didn't enter a short crisis at that moment because you were not there if you were the ceo you will see the several people in several countries that their salaries depend on you that's trouble that's the story of moses who told 2.5 million people come out of egypt let's go to the promised land now you have met the red sea pharaoh is coming behind you the red sea is in front of you what people are counting on you if you tell them rubbish, they will beat you and kill you and then go back to slavery. You know, they were already complaining. You had one that brought us here. They will kill you and go back to slavery. This thing that we look like, we think we are going far. Lord, I want influence. Then influence comes. 100,000 people are counting on you without God. Then you tell them this is the way and God is going that direction and they follow you into trouble. walk with God walk with God don't leave him don't run thinking there is something you can do outside of his presence listen prayer actually was not meant for strong people it is in our generation that we think prayer is for weak people uh, is for strong people prayer these days we see it as a proof of strength prayer is a proof of weakness is a sign that a man has for I don't have any way Lord I come I don't have a, if you leave me If you leave me here, where am I running to? Lord, if your hand, Moses said, if your presence does not follow us, let us not go. I'm sounding this to all of us. We are young people. We are going far. Yes, I know. But keep this in your mind. Read verse 2. Let's read verse 2 again. Every one of us. Which song is that? The Bible says it is vain for you to rise up early to sit up late uh, sorry to rise up early to sit up late to eat the bread of sorrows for he giveth his beloved sleep God can tell everybody can be running up and down and say Lord there, there is trouble everywhere and God tells you lie down that's what God told Paul Paul came out with confidence he said the God that I serve has spoken to me that there will be no loss the ship was dancing, everything. And Paul said, no, there will be no loss. Because God has spoken. God has spoken. God has spoken. God has spoken. Walk with God. Don't leave God. Don't run ahead of God. Don't, listen, don't ever feel cheated. The, this, pastoring is a cheat code in life. You will see people that will post online. When they post, you will feel bad about your destiny. Ah, this guy is moving forward. What is law? until you ask a man of God that knows him then he will tell you that last night the guy was crying that picture was just a that picture was just a sign it was just a proof of good nothing is working in that guy's life ministry has taught me many things me, 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 ah, many things somebody will be online smiling, laughing this is what is happening in my life and then enter your DM and say sir I'm dying you'll be like ah you I know if you, I, that's true that you work I can't afford it <laughs> so young people feel cheated he's an influencer I'm talking from experience I know what I'm saying I know what I'm saying I know rising content creators that will enter my DM and say and sometimes I sit back and I think to myself and that's, this is the reason why this person is not in church now Your presence is my one desire. Your presence is my one desire. Your glory is my one desire. Your glory is my one desire. Your glory is my one desire. You're all I want. You're all I need. I want to hold you close to me. You're all I want. You're all I need. It's in your 
kingdom I find to see your kingdom's man's cry. You're all I want, you're all I need. I want to hold you close to me. You're all I want, you're all I need to see your kingdoms. My heart cry. I like this part. It says, Your glory. It's my one desire. Your glory is my one desire. Gideon, your glory is my one desire. <laughs> your glory is my one desire. Yeah. Your presence is my one desire. Your presence is my one desire. Your presence is my one desire. Your presence. His presence. Get to a point in your Christian experience where nothing can take you from that presence. I found comfort in His presence. I've failed too many times in my little life. I've lost money. Millions! You wake up in the morning, there is no money. They are calling you. And you go back to that presence. Lord, what do I know? What do I turn to now? If they put a poster online now, man of God is in trouble. It's only people. Ah. But you don't blow is my Your glory. Your presence is my one. Your presence. This is what you will need to succeed in life. Huh? One day, you, there will be trouble. You will tell wife, children, go eat. You will lock yourself. Lord, you are my helper. Who do I turn to at this point in my life? Who do I turn to? Who do I know? Connection? Listen, one day you will catch a revelation of men. That men are men. Men fail. You will find out very soon. When David said, I will lift up my eyes to the hills. It's a revelation. His son chased him out of the throne. Hope you know. The son you gave back to created a coup and sent David out of the throne. A king was now in the forest. No throne. No entourage. What do you do at that point? I will lift up my eyes. To... David was speaking from a standpoint of revelation. From whence cometh my help. He says my help comes from the Lord. The maker of the heavens and the earth. It's a revelation. Men that have gone ahead of us have failed and they came back with a testimony that you don't trust men. You look unto God, not men. Your presence is my one. I want you to pray in the next one or two minutes. Lord, I don't know what to do. Come through for me. Yeah. Lord, I don't know what to do. If you don't show up, who do I turn to? close to me yeah. you are all I want you are all I need to see your kingdoms my heart cry you are all I want you are all I need I want to hold you close to me you're all I want you're all I need to see your kingdom my heart your presence is my one day haya barada kataria shala barada dadada batabara Brandesh Kadeli Korea Tabebe Basio Vere de Haita Hallelujah. Before you meet man of God, before you meet pastor, cry before God. Cry before God.
Learn it. Learn it now. You will need it very soon. You might not need this message now. One day, eh? It might be 10 years later. You will borrow lights. You will borrow phone. You will borrow charger. You will plug it and say, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know where I'm going now. If you don't show up, ah, ah, the lifter of men. We look unto men too much. Yes. It is in his presence. That's where we find rest and refreshing. That's where his voice comes to us. God, can I go? He says, go. Should I pursue? Pursue. Would I recover? Yes. In his presence. Your glory. Ah, your glory is my one desire. Your glory is my one desire. Yes, your glory. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, 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 hey. Yeah. Hallelujah. Ah, time has gone. I've cried in my little life. I've had moments where I just lock myself and say, Lord, this is me. They say he's a man of God. I don't know. I don't even know what I'm doing with my life right now. Speak to me. Speak to me. And God speaks to you. His voice that is mighty upon the waters. You rise with confidence. People don't know where the confidence comes from. His presence. When his voice has come. Listen. You see, how do I wait for words for the year? This is a culture that I use in my personal life. I go on a fast. First day you are fasting, you are just worshipping. You must learn his presence. Flow with me. Shabaradi kataria. Shalari eketofe nadaita. Telebedino kovedi atahaye. Ataitam brogedeni kobahai. In his presence. You don't know what you are doing. You are just there. You are just waiting for him. Waiting for him to come. Tande, 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 konde, kongrede, esaya. You are just doing that. Day one, you sleep, wake up, you continue. This man is such impressing in the spirit. Day two, I'm doing the same thing, writing things down. Continue. I, there are days that it will be like the third day fasting not eating anything i'm on the bed something just is like it leaps into your spirit you stand up with a shock that voice has come yes you know what to do this is my experience how did i hear spread in fact we're supposed to that day. we were supposed to talk that day that night i had not slept i was lying down just sitting down on the chair that thing when he entered i'm like oh my god what's that he, your physical body will feel that pull his voice has come it's time to move Know what to do now i know what to do learn it that's how it works you the voice of god comes with the spirit of faith you won't doubt that he was the one that talked to you all this i heard mary tomorrow is amaka you are not yet just shut down go and sleep first wake up tomorrow morning and continue you are not yet hearing very well continue when he comes his voice is mighty upon the world there will be no entrance to that voice you will know he has spoken that's it this is my word this is my word number one walk with god let me advise you build the several things you want to achieve in your life write it as a prayer point huh? lord i am expecting a job of two million i don't know what to do take it to the place of prayer and keep doing the same thing a voice will come to you go here meet him do this learn this course begin that journey that voice has come that's number one number two the wisdom of god and this is my emphasis i hope i'm able to do this enough this night i, I will do it in the name of jesus we'll just read a lot of scriptures you see but this i believe is the major part the major part there is human wisdom sophia there is the wisdom of God. Wisdom is connected to mighty works if you read your Bible. One of the proofs in a man's life that a man carries the wisdom of God are the mighty works in his life. 
spent time in the past one, two months. And I won't say all of my prayer points, but this was one of my prayer points. Lord, I need wisdom. I figured out again that I'm foolish. Like a new revelation. I'm not foolish because I'm making bad decisions. It's just foolish based on the fact that the, your, your outcomes is not what you were expecting. And God is saying there is a way. What I figured out is that you can be crying with your child and there is a well to quench your thirst close to you and you do not know. Let's start from Proverbs chapter 4. Long reading. Please pay attention to all of this. Proverbs chapter 4. Both wisdom for living and wisdom as direction. Pastor Emmanuel Iren calls it supernatural intelligence. I've heard many pastors say, in different ways but it's the same thing the wisdom of the spirit a revelation of the wisdom of the spirit we'll read the whole scripture starts from verse 1 hear ye children the instruction of a father and attend to no understanding it says for I give you good doctrine forsake ye not my law for I was my father's son tender and only beloved in the sight of my mother he taught me also and said unto me, Lest thine heart retain my words. Keep my commandments and live. Next verse. Get wisdom. I ask a question. Where? Are you following me? The Bible says, Get wisdom. My question. Where? Get wisdom. Where? Where do we find it? Get understanding. Forget it not. Neither decline from the words of my mouth. Forsake her not. It says, for she shall... Pre see, see, see what wisdom does to you. Forsake her not, for she shall preserve you. And she shall keep you. Wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom. My second question, where? And with all that getting, get understanding. Exalt her. And the Bible says, she shall promote you. So promotion does not come from the north or the south. Wisdom promotes you. She shall bring you to honor. See, you can respect yourself. You can love yourself. This honor, you can't honor yourself. Honor is a grace. People can sense it. Listen, there are people that will be around you that don't think, they don't think what big deal. But God can carry you to an audience that respects what you are doing honor is by the spirit and the bible is saying wisdom will bring you to a place ah may you get to that place in your experience oh we have wisdom takes you to a place of honor we have people you are doing simple things but people think it's a big deal it says when thou dost embrace her verse 9 she shall give to thine end an ornament of grace haba a crown of glory she shall deliver unto you. All of this just because of wisdom. Hear, O my son, and receive my sayings, and the years of thy life shall be many. I have taught thee in the, in the way of wisdom. I have led thee in right paths. When thou goest, thy steps shall be straightened, and when thou runnest, thou shalt not stumble. Take fast hold of instruction. Should I read this whole thing? Uh, da, 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 Next scripture, Proverbs chapter 8. We want to trace where wisdom can be found. So that this lack, this lack of wisdom will end in our lives. Our lives is at the mercy of the wisdom of the spirit. Your finance that one is the mercy of the wisdom of the spirit. Chapter 8 from verse 1. Maybe uh, if, if I were you, these are scriptures you need to take back home and go and read again. Again and again. Lord, I think there is no wisdom in my life. Because if there is wisdom, there will be honor. Honor is not just for pastors. Honor is a derivative of wisdom. That you do business in a way that people come and say, what wisdom is this? That's honor. Like the queen of Sheba went to look for Solomon and came with goods. The Bible says when she got there, her spirit left her. The woman fainted. What are you doing here? What kind of intelligence is here? In, a, in this place? When the Bible says that there was gold like dust in Israel because of a man's wisdom, why won't you faint? When you get there and there's gold everywhere, wisdom connected to mighty works. People will travel. You can be in a hole. It's wisdom. People will come and meet you. What are you doing? 
do you build a business like in Akure? Where did the investor come from? Wisdom. You just know what to do, who to call, where to go, the right people to meet. I've listened to church growth things. I've listened to many church growth messages. I figured out that the key for many people is the spirit of wisdom. Pastor just comes one day with an instruction from heaven. Do this, do this, do this. And you are thinking what happened to the church? Wisdom. Not the one that you can get in the... Let's read Proverbs chapter 8. Does not wisdom cry? And understanding put forth her voice. This is wisdom crying. She standeth in the top of high places by the way in the places of the paths she cried at the gates at the entry of the city at the coming of the doors unto you O men i call and my voice is to the sons of man O ye simple understand wisdom and ye fools be ye of an understanding art here for i will speak of excellent things and the opening of my lips shall be right things for my mouth shall speak truth and wickedness is an abomination to my lips all the words of my mouth are in righteousness. Yeah, There is nothing forward or perverse in them. They are all plain to him that understand it and write to them that find knowledge. Receive my instruction and not silver. <laughs> are you hearing wisdom here? Wisdom is saying if they give you my instruction and they give you silver, run away from silver, find my instruction. When the Bible explains wisdom to you like this, let me continue reading. And knowledge rather than choice gold. He said, for wisdom is better than rubies. And all the things that may be desired are not to be compared to it. I wisdom dwell with prudence and find out knowledge of witty inventions. You see this now. That God can come to, listen to me, listen to me. That God can come to Dimeji in the night. Give you access to wisdom. You incorporate it into your business. Everybody is saying it's an invention, but it's not an invention. It is wisdom by the Spirit. Wisdom gives witty inventions. We don't need to wait for the world to create Facebook, to create all of these things. It can come by the Spirit of Revelation. Wisdom rests on you. You start building something. That Read your Bible. The first person that built engines, built it by the Spirit. Read your Bible. The Bible says Uzziah prospered because he was marvelously helped of the Lord. Built engines. Who told Noah how to build an ark? How did he build it? It's still a debate till today. In a world without too many inventions, a man came out by himself, but by an instruction. Did you read how God was prescribing to Noah? Cut the wood like this. Do it like this. Instruction by the Spirit. Wisdom and witty inventions. I'm saying that Danielos can wake up with a sound. He doesn't know where the sound comes from. It came by the spirit. You just wake up with that sound. You arrange it and 20 A-list artists start reaching out to you. I can pay any amount. This thing will soon blow. They know wisdom. All these songs that you write and everybody sings it after one year, they don't sing it again. No, not the one that came from wisdom. Witty inventions. The fear of the Lord is to hate evil, pride and arrogancy, and the evil way and the forward mouth do I hate. Counsel is mine and sound wisdom and sound wisdom. I am understanding, I have strength. By me, kings reign. Are you seeing this? <laughs> and princes decree justice. By me, princes rule and nobles, even the judges of the earth. I love them that love me, and those that seek me early shall find me. Who will seek him early, who will seek wisdom early. Riches and honor are with me. Uh -huh. Hello, 21st century. Riches and honor are not on social media. Riches and honor are with me. Yes. There are people that are not on any social media. I know social media is the way now. That's what they said. There are people that are not on any social media platform living in millions of dollars. Wisdom. Just the right instruction the right place, the right time. There is a world away from the world you are seeing. You know? There are many people you have not met. Silent people doing great things. They control many of the platforms that you know, but they are not there. Just silently. Put a CEO there, there and there and they are controlling everything by wisdom. You don't need to believe this scripture, but I pray you believe it one day. Riches and honor are with me. 
Ye double riches and righteousness, my fruit is better than gold. Ye than fine gold and my revenue than choice silver. I lead in the way of righteousness in the midst of the path of judgment that I may cause those that love me to inherit substance and I will fill their treasures. The Lord possessed me. <laughs> Stop there. Just, just pause. Just pause there. Even God needed wisdom. Are you, are, you, are you with me? That when God wanted to build the heavens and the earth, the Lord possessed me. Hey, yeah. If God needed wisdom to build this world, you will need wisdom. Have you seen the architecture in this world? We are still discovering new things in this world that God built by wisdom. In the beginning of his way, before the works of old, I was set up from everlasting, from the beginning or ever the earth was. Let me see if I should read the rest because of time. Let's jump to verse 34. Blessed is the man that heareth me, watching daily at my gates, waiting at the post of my doors. For whoso findeth me, findeth life, and shall obtain favor of the Lord. But he that sinneth against me, wrongeth his own soul. All that day, all day that hate me, love death. Last scripture, and then we're going to pray. I want us to trace wisdom. Job chapter 28. We'll start reading from verse 12. Job chapter 28. We could start reading from ahead, but let's start from here because of time. Time has gone. The Bible says, but where shall wisdom be found? This is Jobo after suffering for many years. Where shall wisdom be found? And where is the place of understanding? Man knoweth not the price thereof neither is it found in the land of the living so wisdom is already giving you an expo if you want to search for me just make sure that you don't look for it in this earth in the land of the living you won't find me <laughs> the depth said it is not in me the deep said it is not, the sea said it is not with me so they, we are tracing wisdom we went to the land of the living they said it's not here we went to the depths they said it's not here we went to the sea they said it's not here keep reading it cannot be gotten for gold neither shall silver be weighed for the price thereof it cannot be valued with the gold of offer with the precious onyx or the sapphire the gold and the crystal cannot equal it the exchange of it shall not be for jewels or fine gold no mention shall be made of coral or of pearls for the price of wisdom is above rubies the topaz of Ethiopia shall not equal it neither shall it be valued with pure gold now this is it. And we place standing. Seeing that it is living and from the foul destruction and death. I God see this scripture. Bah. Destruction and death say we have heard of the fame thereof with our ears. So they, they looked around and they went to miss destruction and death. And death said, I've heard, you see, I've killed several people, but I've heard the fame of wisdom. People with wisdom don't die. I've heard of their fame. God understandeth the way thereof. He knoweth the place thereof. For he looketh to the ends of the earth, and you can continue reading. But my emphasis is that verse 23. God understandeth the way thereof. And like that other scripture said, the Bible says, the Lord possessed me. Listen to me. There is something that human will give you. Actions and there. Try this. Try A. Try B. Uh, social media. Be an influencer. Post on YouTube. Mm -hmm. Use your IG. Use hashtags. Share. It's not a problem. I'm not saying it's a problem. But I'm saying that's human wisdom. It's frail. You can try it and it doesn't work for you. Haven't you seen several things? Click the link in my bio. You click the link, you go for the call, you still fail. They'll tell you a list of things. Shut down for six months. You know when rich people are rich, they just know how to give all the advices in the world. This is the way that I attracted wealth. I, 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 
I did self-awareness. I went in through myself. I explored uh, these stories. Brothers and sisters, eh? there is human direction here and there. And there is the wisdom of the spirit. The Bible says that they went to the place of the dead. Dead. The last spirits that will be joined. That have heard the fame of wisdom. Heard of that guy. I don't know where that guy is. He just lifts people from my eye. I want to kill that guy. He comes out by wisdom. I've heard of his fame. I went to the land of the living. He was not there. I went into the sea. It was not there. Then the Bible says God knoweth the way of it. Brothers and sisters. I stand before you and I just to pray. The things that we are looking at that is not working is a sign that there is something we have not found by the spirits. There is a direction that God can God can wake you up with something. We can discuss the several um, what do they call this now? We can do the several theological discussions. I will pray, I will pray, or we say, no, it's not spirit. The, the, the theology is not right. Somebody received a song from heaven. Everybody must hear it. That's what happens. It came from heaven. It's where it came from, not what he's saying. We do theology too. But this is the problem with theologians. That's why they don't know God. They read to a point where they excuse God and they use arguments. God says, I own wisdom. If any man needs wisdom, the Bible says, come to God, the giver of all. God knows how to tell people, Emmanuel, cast your net on the right side. It's time. We are in the season. The, the, the stars have aligned. I want you to put it here. This is where to go. Brothers and sisters, we need this one in this house. There is a dimension of wisdom God wants to bring in this financial series. I'm telling you, you will leave this place with a key. You will leave service saying, this is what I need. God has brought it, delivered, signed, sealed, and delivered for you. Yes, I believe this. And I want you to pray from the depth of your spirit. Lord, I am not wise. Lead me in the path. Lord, show me what I need. There is something. There is just something. The spirit of the Lord can quicken your spirit. You can preach just one more message. Somebody somewhere will see it. They've not been seeing it because it didn't come from heaven. It came from your mind. Build, are you praying? I want you to come to a point where you realize there is an assistance by the Spirit. Not Sophia. Not Sophia. Your business plan is good. The problem is that the wisdom of the Spirit must prove. pray. God, pray. Team God, pray. Make sure you are praying. Lord, I know that I do good materials. It's not about the clothes. There is something. There is strategy. There is a strategy. Wisdom is not found in the land of the living. There is a strategy from heaven. Aya. Aya barata siyatahaya. Alone legends, pray. You can sell perfume oil, but the Holy Ghost can brood on you. Can put a strategy in your spirit. Man will not be able to gain say. They will just lament. What, where did you hear this one from? Who taught you? The spirit of God. Shabbatariyakata. Build, pray. The spirit of wisdom. The spirit of wisdom. Make sure you are praying. The spirit of wisdom. These are some of my contemplations. I'm pouring a burden into your spirit. Lord, I have, I have been making a lot of choices. There is something that the spirit of God can tell you. Shalaparandas get the better. 
Builder, you praying. Builder, you praying. Strategies. 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 my life by wisdom by wisdom by strategy the spirit of wisdom it of wisdom the spirit of wisdom that grace that grace is an engracing from the spirit we're about to go but pray pray just just delve into prayer